we was. So there's a lot more to this. Um, yeah, the, the difference between Omencho and 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 um, and uh, Massimo Dinero is the government on the U.S. I think is on Omencho's side, in my opinion. And uh, where's Dinero? It's not. Nice to see a clip like this. Great stuff. Thank you. Cindy, again, we love your uh, uh, wavering support. Yeah, Avellino. So so my family is from Provincia Avellino, but there's also a town where Adatio's family is from, or Adatio's from, uh, Avellino. And I'm from the province of Avellino, a small town called Valata. So we are kind of Paisani. And I knew that, and I had a little bit of a brain fart, so forgive me. Hello, Shane. Pleasure to see you. I remember with you now. Thank you, Cindy. You're a great supporter and a great friend, and I really appreciate it. You should get Scotty Burns to discuss Joey Molino's new gambling business. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to have Scott on. Actually, believe it or not, I'm going to be having um, uh, James Buccellato, his show partner, on, and we're going to discuss this exact story about Sicilian Cause in Austria. I want to get his feedback and weigh in on the Salvadina interview um, and also the current state of the Sicilian Mafia. I'm really excited about that. Uh, James and I are working out a date, and I'm a big fan of Scott and a big fan of James. In Italy, there are mafia members high up at Catholic Church, like actually made members of Vatican. Now, I don't know. I don't Now, I don't think so. In, in Sicily, are there priests and people of the cloth that may have been made members? Yes. Now, I don't know. I'm going to lean towards no on that. I know people think I like a good conspiracy, but in this case, I think not. You think Messina was paying off the government officials? No, he didn't need to. He had big money. Um, he, there might have been people paid off, maybe like a local policeman, local uh, chief. Hey, if you get tipped off, let my guy know. There might have been some payoffs in that sense. But I don't think he was paying for the government for his freedom. Because the big money is in the big government contracts. And the bigger money is being in the actual national seat, like Maloney. They're not going to trade it up for a few thousand dollars, even for a few hundred thousand dollars. Mirabella Eklani. Oh, Eklani. There you go. Um, my sister's from awesome. Hey, first live on here. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm streaming to Twitter, Armchair NBA, and also Mobsters Inc. So I'm trying to bring in the community uh, together a little bit. Um, I, I don't plan. I know I could have bigger numbers. I could plan it out. I could do a thumbnail. I can do a title. I can do all that stuff. As you guys see, I've been really busy lately. Um, I just haven't had the time to do shows um, and haven't had time to do content. Um, I'm just familiar commitments, business commitments. Listen, I love doing this. It's my passion. It's my hobby. And even despite doing that, we're doing pretty well. We're over 22,000 subs. And again, thank you for that. Um, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, did you ever speak about Roy DeMeo? I, I've never really covered Roy DeMeo. Um, I don't know if there's a ton more to add to that. Um, anybody who watches my show, and I think you might be newer, Golden, is I like to cover the business end of things. Um, so, you know, he was more an enforcement arm, and he ran a really lucrative um, uh, auto auto chop shop type business, which which I do think that um, is worthy of discussion. I just didn't get to cover. Is it in the plans? Not in the super foreseeable future, because I'm lucky to get a show or two out a month, but I will probably do something soon if there's, a, if there's an appetite for it. Uh, Prego. Uh, if you visit Corleone, will you see the mafia there? Well, so in Corleone itself is a very small town. Um, I think it only has about 5,000 inhabitants, and there's probably very few actual mafiosi still left. However, they're still there. Um, the town government was taken over by the state because they believe that was fully each of the council people were mafiosi, but there is some mafia there, but it's not as prevalent as you think. You're not going to see the guys with the Gubalines and the Lupadas. It's just not like that as much anymore, but they are still there. I don't need to say mobs to operate. Uh, yeah, they, they're definitely in Switzerland uh, in terms of um, a lot of the, fi the financial financial wings. When you have to, they're still making hundreds of millions of dollars. They have to launder that. Switzerland still continues to be a good place for cover. A uh, little bit of uh, Sicilian mafia activity, believed in the UK, uh, but believe it or not, Indragada seems to have a little bit more foothold on the distribution. And they're now working a lot with Albanian gangs and also in Ireland, the Kinahan clan.